Just describe the cardiac nature of this team. It's fun. It's fun. It's not fun to get down double digits like that. It's not to get fun to get down as as big as we have in 19. That's a big uh, lead to overcome. But I love how they never stop competing and the fire and competitiveness, the ball pressure. That's everything that we've asked them to do, and it actually ignited the team. It was it was fun to be a part of. Defensively, I guess did anything change? Did you guys recognize? Hey, we need to lock in a little bit different in that second quarter. I, th I, you know, five minutes to go in the second quarter, they took it on themselves. We kept challenging them in the huddle to pick it up. And Jalen Wilson, Noah Clowney, their ball pressure, their deflections, getting just making the other team feel them. It just changed the tide for us. How much does it help having, you know, those two guys, obviously, you played last year, being able to kind of set that tone where guys can just kind of follow their lead from them knowing what to do? I think it's everything. They're the, they're the leaders of the team. And... As they play, everyone else will follow, and if they're doing it, it's no excuse for everyone else to do it. Mainly with Jalen. I mean, obviously, the shooting was there in that second half for him. Like, when you watch Jalen shoot, like, I guess, how is that helping you guys figure out what to do with his game? Because he can do so much with his IQ instincts with that shooting. How does that help things a little bit? Shooting helps everything and, and at any level of basketball because it provides space on the floor for his teammates. And so the better he can shoot the ball, the, the more room there is for Gilly in a pick and roll, Keon to attack one on one. So the shooting provides all the space that we need. Encouraging is it to see your main guys even down stick with the communication and the belief, the fundamentals that help you make a comeback like that. That's what makes all of this is fun, you know, to never see them drop their heads. It's everything that you want out of a coach because you put in the time, you put in the work, and they don't quit. So it means everything. Discipline from Keon, I mean, you get 10 fouls out here and he only had two tonight. That kind of helped with the flow and getting them, you know, turnovers instead of fouls that way. Just I think Keon could be a nightmare defensively. We challenged him to be the absolute best defender out here in Summer League and he's taken the challenge. He is an incredible athlete, but he can really sit down and guard. For a guy that is out here trying to kind of earn his place in the NBA and earn a contract, uh, just how pleased are you with what Keon has shown in the practices and over these three games? I'm, I'm very pleased. I love Keon. I've been with Keon for a while now. It's been awesome to watch his growth as a person and a player. And I just love the fact that he's getting to showcase all the things that he's worked on and all the time that he's spent in the gym to get to this position. I saw Jalen have a stretch where hit two threes, pair of free throws, went coast to host, created a transition three for Keon. Like, down the stretch of that fourth quarter, seemed like he was a guy who was really taking over. Played a lot of Kansas, second summer league. Like, is he? Do you view him as a leader of this group right now? Very much so. He's extremely poised. He never gets too high or too low. We've challenged him to be better defensively. This was the best defense I've ever seen him play. When a lot of times players take just a quantum leap from their first summer league to their second summer league, Noah might even fall into that category. What have you seen from Derek? I mean, just the shooting is one thing, and we see the numbers, but what have you seen from him that he needs to continue to progress on as summer league goes on and then once we even get into the season? I'd just like for him to, to step on the court and play as hard as he can and don't worry about the, the makes or the misses. And that's our, been our message from day one, is just go out and play as hard as you can. He's got – he's – He's had a tough journey being out as long as he had, and I don't think any of us can know what he's going through, but it's our job to just keep encouraging him, put him back out there, and have him play as hard as he can the next game. Does it help when you see Derek make defensive plays, like when he came in that third quarter, got that steal right away? Does it kind of help seeing, hey, shots not falling, find a way to impact the game on defense? Is that positive for him? Yes, absolutely.